What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Series 12 in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And in today's video, we are rocking out with an absolute banger of a team that features Yavelta, Zacian, and Steam Engine Colossal. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Seriously, thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator and is a subscriber to this channel. But we used Yvelta in our last Series 12 video, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. I think it is phenomenal in the series. So I was just like, yo, I want to use it again, but I want to use it with something totally different. That's exactly what we're doing today. But let's get started here with the team preview, starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only steam engine colossal i haven't used it for series 12 but every single other previous series this pokemon was an absolute medicine super super strong once you get its uh, steam engine proc alongside with that weakness policy it's just going to be able to sweep teams left and right we got the rock side we got explosion we got flare blitz and we got protect so a little bit of a different move set cannot wait to use it and showcase it in series 12 Right next to him is going to be that lovely Yavelta. I absolutely love this Pokemon and think it's super, super strong in this series. It's super bulky alongside with that Assault Vest. And then you got that Dark Aurora as its ability to make Dark type moves do more damage. We got a great move set over here of Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Foul play to do some big damage on some physical attackers. Then we got Oblivion Wing for stab and HP recovery and Snarl for special attack drop. Middle left is going to be our support Dragapult over here. We got clear body. We got the Lumberry as an item. And then we can burn physical attackers with will o -Wisp. We can set up a light screen, you know, to protect us from special attackers. Then we got Surf to actually proc that weakness policy and steam engine on that Colossal. And last but not least, we're rocking out with our stab move, which is going to be break and swipe to get a physical attack drop. I love this Dragapult setup. I think it's really, really good. And it's great at controlling the battles by dropping special or even physical attack and helping our Colossal set up at the same time. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Incineroar. And I don't even have to say anything about Incineroar, but we'll go over this one for you guys. We got Intimidate, we got Safety Goggles, we got Party Shot, Taunt, Flare Blitz, Fake Out. Everything's fairly normal. Incineroar is just still super, super strong in this series. And I feel like he goes well on any single team. So pairing him up with this Dragon Bolt brings us plenty of attack drops and controlling the battle with these guys. I think uh, both these support mods are really, really good for this team. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Zacian. Zacian is top tier. Top tier in the series really counters up on a lot of different Pokemon and just hits like a truck alongside with its really, really high speed. It's got Iron Head. It's got Sacred Sword. It has substitute to set up and help it uh, eat up some shots. Then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. And then obviously, you guys know its item and ability is going to be Interpret Sword alongside with the Rusted Sword to give it that attack boost every single time we hop into that battle. Last Pokemon on the squad is going to be the Fighting and Water Urshfu. And if you guys have been watching my content, you guys know your boy Jeans absolutely loves any Urshfu on a team. It is just such a super, super strong back-end Pokemon. It can come in in most situations and just dominate battles left and right. We got the Unseen Fist, so it can hit through Protects. Then we got that Focus Hatch, which I think is the best item for any Urshfu. We got Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet for first-hand priority, and Detect just to protect our lovely Fighting Bear. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, we got that Rental Code chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Series 12 ladder. Look to get some wins with the Zacian Yavelta Steam Engine Colossal Team. Before we get started here in battle number one, I want to let you guys know that your boy Jeans is streaming five plus days every single week over on Twitch. Name is right below the face cam and link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Come hang out with us. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications. I would love to see you guys pop up. Say hi. Say what's up in that chat. Would mean a lot to me. Plus, it's good old time over. It is a good old time, but we're hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against a Solgaleo, if I had to guess weakness policy, Solgaleo, alongside with the Yvelta team with Venusaur, Tornadus for Tailwind Speed Control, and then he has the uh, Spectre Air and Instant War. So how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like our Steam Engine lead could be solid here, but I am kind of scared of that Tailwind and then like the Max Quake maybe coming out from the Solgaleo. Something along those lines could really do us dirty. So maybe we'll go into Dragapult just to throw burns on some physical attackers and have those uh, that light screen at the same time. But I'm going to go in with that. And then we have to bring Urshfu. Do I bring Colossal? I definitely want Yvelta. I might lead. That'd be a really nice lead. I think I'm going to go in with Steam Engine combo. Actually, no, we're not. We're not. I don't like that. I do not like that. We're going to go in with Incineroar alongside with... Zacian could be good as lead. And then bring Yavelta alongside with Urshfu in the back end. I think I'm liking that a lot more than anything else. I do dig that. I do indeed dig that. He does have the Venusaur, so I'm guessing maybe it's a sunny day combo with the with the Tornadus. We could definitely see that. Or maybe one Pokemon's Rock and Max player, so we might have a combo with that. But guys, before we even get started in this battle, let me know for question of the day. What are you guys' thoughts on the brand new Nintendo Direct? For me, I'm super excited for it. 
I can't believe they announced a brand new Mario Strikers game. That is one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm super excited for that. Cannot wait to get that game on and play that game. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be doing content on the YouTube channel when it comes out, but it comes out in the summertime. They have online, they have clubs. It's just going to be amazing all around. But he's going to end up leading the Tornadus alongside with the Venus Venusaur. So he can either go for a sunny day. He could go for a, uh, a Tailwind here, either or. But I think he's going to Dynamax that Venusaur. So we could go into a Flare Blitz. We could Taunt. But I think we just fake him out, right? We should have a big old fake out and then maybe we set up a sub. We could definitely set up a sub or we're gonna go to a behemoth blade, which is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna withdraw the Venusaur. Okay, so he withdraws Venus for turn one. Who's he gonna swap into? He's gonna swap into a Cinder. So great little swap there. Lovely little swap. We're gonna fake him out, and then he's probably gonna fake us. I was gonna set up a sub, which could have been really, really good. But we kinda we kinda screw him over by going in with Incineroar. Because Incineroar is just super good all around. Fake us gonna pop here. We're gonna pop a nice little flinch. And then we're just going to drop a behemoth blade, which is not really going to do too, too much onto this instant or considering we're minus one and it's going to be not very good. So let's get after it. Let's see how much damage he's actually going to do though. Not too shabby. It's not too shabby. I mean, I seem better, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So from here, you know, I could put a party shot out, which I might do. I could definitely party shot, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I could protect or I could just go into Sacred Sword, but we know he's going to fake me out, right? We know he's going to fake me out. So you know what? I might just swap into a... Uh, you have Velta here. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap into Yvelta, and then I'm going to Parting Shot probably out into my, uh, my, what's it called? My Urshifu. Or I can go back in his Astrid here and just get after the battle that way. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. Maybe we should have taunted up onto that Tornadus. Could have been good. But we knew the Fake Out was coming across this way, so Yvelta's just chilling fine here. He's going to set up the Tailwind. I'm cool with that all day. I'm totally cool with that. Tailwind's going to poke here. We're going to drop a nice, lovely parting shot. And we're going to go into our lovely, 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 lovely Urshfu. Do we go into Urshfu? Or we go into Zassian? I don't know who we go into. I think we go into Urshfu here, right? I think Zassian could come out here. Zassian could do some work here. Uh, I am going to go into Urshfu. And I think he might hard swap into Venusaur here. Do we predict that he hard swaps into Venusaur and we just go for a uh, an Oblivion Wing into that Incineroar slot? Hmm. What is my play? I could go Surgeon Strikes over here. And say he either parting shots into Venusaur. And then maybe we just Oblivion Wing into the slot. I think Venusaur is going to come back out here. So you know what? I'm just going to do this. I think he is going to parting shot or something along those lines into Venusaur. Knowing that I have Water Earth he's like, yo, Water Shot's totally coming in here. Let me get my... Let me let me switch my Incineroar out and let me get my Venusaur out here. Yep, there's the Withdrawal. Give me the, give me the Venusaur back out here. Jeans with the read to bow number one. So Oblivion Wing's gonna slide over on this slot. He's gonna go for an air slash. We do have our focus ash, so we are chilling fine here. We are chilling fine. And if this thing doesn't go down the surge of strikes, then uh then we'll be able to aqua jet and take that thing out. So we're thriving. We are in a such good spot. The critical hit, there's one, there's two, and actually an aqua jet might not be able to take it out. It's gonna be kinda close. It's gonna be kinda close. But Oblivion Wing is going to fly out here, which is great. And we make a nice big old read to get this battle started. Great big old read. So Oblivion Wing pokes out here. That's some big damage. Okay. So what do I do from here? I can Sucker Punch too. Which I might have to do. Actually, do I? Oh. No, Aqua Jet's going to be your best bet here. We're going to go into Aqua Jet here. And then do I just do I just Sucker Punch you? Do we say he goes for an attacking move? Or he goes for a Sleep Powder? I don't know. Let's see. Aqua Jet comes through. Can this KO? I don't know if it's going to KO. Please KO. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go, Urshfu. And Sucker Punch fly across here. He's going for a Sleep Powder. Son of a biscuit. That kind of stinks. Okay, so he goes for the Sleep Powder. Um, who's he going to bring out here? Probably not the Incineroar. I don't think he brings out Incineroar, right? I do not think he brings out Incineroar. And if he does, we'll go for an Aqua Jet into him. He might fake me out. We'll see what he does. If he does go into Incineroar, I'm just going to detect this turn. But, yo, the Sleep Powder definitely do me dirty. He goes into Yvelta, which is going to be his Dynamax Mon. This is going to be his Dynamax Mon. That is totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. So from here, I could go for... I could detect. I think we go for the Aqua Jet. We just see how much damage we could poke off onto this Venusaur. In this case, we could just go for the Snarl, which is probably our play, right? Yeah, Snarl is our play. Snarl roll is our play. So Aqua Jet coming up big, and my hard read on that Yvelta was one. He goes for the Sucker Punch. And that takes me out. Okay, so he sucker punches me. Hopefully we'll wake up. Probably not, right? No shot, right? Weather, oh, weather ball coming out here. That's just a normal move. 
There's no weather out here. There's no weather. Dang, yo, we soaked it up. And he's life form, so he's going to go down next time he actually uses a shot. So, he's probably going to go into... Uh, I mean, I got to go into Incineroar here, right? Do we read to protect? We have safety goggles on, so he can't put me to sleep. That's great. So, you know what? I'm just going to parting shot into... Uh, I'm just going to parting shot into y that Yvelta. Because his Yvelta is really his last hope of winning, right? I feel like that Yvelta is his last hope of winning. Because Venus will goes down to any move he does because of the life form damage. So if he wants to go for a sleep powder on the incineroar, we have the safety goggles. It's not gonna affect us. I'm not even gonna parting shot. I mean, I'm not even gonna fake out. I'm just gonna go into a parting shot in case he dynamaxes. In this case, we're just gonna snarl. 100 percent my play. Because Yvelta is gonna be forced to not be able to swap. So if we can just keep dropping its attack, we should be sitting in a great position here. And then eventually just dynamax my uh Yvelta. This dynamaxing Yvelta is has to be a play, right? It's gotta be a play because we can't dynamax the uh Zacian. And I'd rather Dynamax Yvelta over, over in Center or any day of the week. Any day of the week. So let's see what he does here. He still has Tailwind. I'm kind of just waiting for that to go down. Yvelta, fast asleep. What's Venusaur going for here? Venusaur or Yvelta goes for the Airstream into Yvelta probably, right? We are we are Soul Fest. And I have to Dynamax him. I think I Dynamax him next turn, right? Unless I Dynamax that in Center. I really don't know what I do. We're party shot anyway. What's Venusaur going for? He's going for Earth Power. And we should be able to soak that up all night, right? Yeah, so we soaked that up. Venusaur is going to drop out here. We're going for a parting shot. And in this case, uh, what do we do? In this case, we got Dynamax at Yabelta. We have to Dynamax at Yabelta. So parting shot comes out here. He is now minus one, which is lovely. It's really, really good for us. He does have Airstream, so he is going to take speed. And speed's going to be a pain here. Speed is definitely going to be a pain here. We go into Zacian, and I could hard swap Zacian back into Incineroar if we really wanted to. We really wanted to. But in this case, I got to just protect my Zacian. And then go into a uh well, I could hard swap him in instant war and then go into uh a Dynamax here and just start teeing off some damage. This is tough. This is real tough. He actually still has a great shot here. He does have a great shot here, but I, th I feel like we should be fine here. I really do feel like we should be fine. He does have sucker punch, we know that's a huge threat. And in this case, like I said, protect's gotta come out or hard swap. What am I thinking of doing? I think I'm just uh hard swapping him. Just get that minus one off of us. Hard swapping him, get minus one onto that Incineroar, and then just Dynamaxing and going for Airstream, right? You know, Max Dark just really don't do anything. So Airstream's gotta be our player. We need to start taking some speed over here. Do we start going after Incineroar? Yeah. We're gonna start going after Incineroar here. Definitely our play. Because Incineroar is really the only Pokemon that poses the threat onto the Zacian. So if I could just get rid of the Incineroar and just leave Zacian to take out the Yvelta, we should be thriving. We should be thriving, but it's not gonna lie, it's a great battle here. Yo, look at the uh, Yvelta's wings flapping in synchronization. Super, super cool. But we have to Dynamax here. We're going to say he wakes up. There's no way he has a 3 turn sleep. That'd be bun, Joe. That'd be so bun. But here comes our Dynamax. Let's rock out with it. Let's do it. We're going to get some HD back. And I think we wait. We 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 waited one turn too long to Dynamax. But I still think we have a, a decent shot at winning this battle. We should have probably Dynamax him last turn to get the full, full HP out of him. We're up to 224, which is great. And he's just going to go for a fake out. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. There's no way he doubles down into my Zacian, right? I don't see him doing that. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Darkness, and he is going to double down in that slot. Oh, no, he's not. That's awesome. We eat up all day. Lovely. Mwah. Lovely. So we get off a nice little fake-out turn with our Incineroar. We're just going to fake out his Incineroar with that, and we're just going to go from there. Or I could party shot. He's going to get that special defense drop. Yeah, Velta's still asleep. What you mean, yo? What you mean? That's a little whack. That is a little whack. All right. Fake-out's got to come out here. Fake-out. We got to go into the Airstream. We're going to do that all day. Do it all day, baby. Baby, let's do it. Let's do it. Because I need this Pokemon gone. I need this Pokemon get gone. Obviously, no Incineroar runs protect. So we're just going to fake it out. Get a free flinch on him. And he's going to go for an Airstream. Take out my Incineroar now. He goes after Yvelta. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day long, baby. He's going to get that speed boost. I'm cool with that. That leaves Incineroar out here for yet another turn, which is great. So I can go for another part and shot if I wanted to. I can go into a Flare Blitz. I can do a lot here. So there's that. We bring Incineroar down to the red. And this is this battle's going a little longer than I thought it would. If we made that hard read, I thought we were just going to be able to just cruise through. But that was a big play for us. It definitely was. This thing's obviously a rock and a berry. Come on, man. So another Airstream will take it out. So I'm going to Airstream into that. And I think I'm just going to try to get off a parting shot. Off the Yabelta. Right? That's got to be your play. Parting shot over on the Yabelta. He does have foul play, which is kind of scary. He does have foul play, which is definitely scary, but... 
We are still gonna go for his party shot. We are just gonna go straight for his Lovely airstream. Lovely little airstream. We'll see how this one plays out. Because we should be able to circle up whatever these guys have to offer. At least my Yvelta. I think Incineroar goes down though. Uh, probably maybe the next Yvelta shot. We'll see. Let's see how this one goes. Just for Oblivion Wing. He is gonna get some HP back. We might be able to eat that up. But I think he might go down here, right? 35. Yeah, he's going. Okay, so he drops down there. Incineroar shouldn't be able to take out my Yvelta at all. And then in this case, uh, Yvelta should be able to... Oh, Yvelta actually outspeeds him. So Yvelta will take out Incineroar no problem. Get him out of my face. And it turns into a 2v1 situation, which we could Sucker Punch. We could uh, probably Oblivion Wing would be our best bet. Get some HP back and just start soaking up shots. Because he still is minus one. And then we have the Sassy in the back. So I really do like how he played this battle. I really, really like how he played this battle. The hard read with Oblivion Wing was perfect. It was perfect, man. It was perfect. Because once he hard swapped into that Incineroar, I was just like, okay, this guy's not afraid to hard swap and back into the Venusaur knowing we have a water move coming out. So we just switched it up, made the hard read, and ended up giving us the upper hand in this battle, which was absolutely amazing. So over here, we're obviously going to rock out with the Behemoth Blade. Definitely our best bet. And we're just going to go for Oblivion Wing, just get off some stab damage and get some HP back on the recovery board as well. So Oblivion Wing, five sword. We outspeed him. That is amazing. That is lovely. That is lovely. Or was that? Yeah, no, that was Arya Belta shooting at him. So we get some HP back. I wonder what he's going to do here. I wonder what he's going to do here. Foul play comes out here. Can we soak that? Yeah. Okay. That's still some big damage. That is still some huge damage from a not very effective move. That was the one move I was scared of, and I knew it was not very effective. But I was just like, you never know how much damage a foul play really is going to do. We bring this Yvelta down to one. This thing lives on our free focus ash, which is whack. And in this case, we're just going to go for a Behemoth Blade, and we're just going to go for a Sucker Punch. Because you know, Sucker Punch is obviously going to be the play here. Because if he wants to go for an attacking move, we hit him with a Sucker Punch. We hit him with a Sucker Punch, but that's going to be GG's. 1-0 to get this video started. Lovely. Our Sucker Punch pops out here. Bilp, get him out my game. Get him out of there. There it is, guys. What a first battle to get us started here. It went the distance, went pretty long, and it was great all around. But, you know, your boy had to pick up that win in the end. So we're sitting at 1-0. Let's hop into our second, going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex. Okay. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. He also has the Blastoise. He has the Landorus for uh, Intimidate Drops and just great Pokemon all around. And then he also has, if I had to guess, a Support Thunderous with Eerie Impulse, all that good stuff, Prankster ability, and then the Urshfu for the back end mod. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of leading here. I definitely got to bring Yvelta because, you know, Yvelta is an absolute menace up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. So I really do like that. So we're definitely going to have to bring Yvelta, but I think leading maybe Steam Engine could really do us good. Could definitely do us good, right? I think he leads the land though. I mean, Blastoise could be scary though. Blastoise could be scary. Who I think he might actually end up leading. So we could go into Yvelta here just for that uh, special attack drop. I do like Yvelta for lead. We could go Urshfu. I could go Zacian. Oh. Mmm. I really do want to go into Steam Engine, but it's just like, dude, if he leads that Blastoise, we can we could definitely do a sturdy. And then I could just hit protect explode. Or I could just straight up explode. I see my time. I see my time all day. You know, we're gonna go into here. Here and then we're just gonna go uh Zacian and Urshifu. The same squad as last time, I think it is. I think it is. Like I said, I really want to go into Colossal. And we probably should have, because you know, if he brings Blast Lays, we should have just exploded. We should have just honestly just exploded into him. I could have actually went into a surf and explode because you know with ghost type, that explosion will not affect my uh Dragon Ball, and it could do some big damage all around. But I don't like leading the Colossal if they're gonna just counter it. He goes into these two. And did I, I think I led Yvelta, right? I did. Woo. Beautiful. Beautiful with the lead with the Yvelta. We gotta love it. We love it. Okay, so I could just straight up suck a punch right into that thing if I wanted to. Which is probably gonna be my play. I'm gonna fake out and I'm just gonna go straight for a sucker punch. Right? It's gotta be a play. Intimidate's gonna poke out here. And, like, what else could he do? We could hard swap. We could definitely hard swap. But I, I do think that uh, straight up sucker punch is 100% our play here. I'm going to start a punch here and alongside with just a fake out. Just, you know, take some damage over onto that Pokemon. He might protect and then maybe go into an Eerie Impulse next turn. I could have taunted him. I maybe should have faked out and taunted it and re read the protect. But, you know, I like to go for a simple place. The simple plays are definitely where it's at sometimes. Sometimes making a hard read will lose you to battle. But not in that last one. We made that great hard read. We made that great hard read on that Venusaur, which I love doing. I love just seeing, like, your read just play out. Like, you see him, like, you're like, oh, he's withdrawing. You're like, oh. He's withdrawing. You're like, no, it's playing out perfectly. And that's exactly what happened. 
Once I saw the V when it said he withdraw and sent out V, I was like, we did it. We did it, boys. <laughs> but he's going to end up Dynamaxing this lovely guy here. So Fake Out is going to do nothing. Um, he's just going to drop a uh, Thunder move, probably, right? What's he going to do with uh, Calyx here? He does have Protect Calyx, so hopefully Sucker Punch can do some work on it. Sucker Punch comes out here. Focus Ash? Focus Ash. He sashes up. Okay. He sashes up. We have Urshfu in the back end just to Aqua Jet that thing. And Snarl's gonna poke here. So in this case, I might just party shot here. My party shot next turn. So not bad. Not bad. He snarls. We got the thing down to one. Which is lovely. So he might think that we're going for another sucker punch. He's gonna drop the lightning, but that might kill us, right? No, my boy Yveltus soaks. My boy Yveltus soaks. So uh, maybe he thinks we're going straight into that uh, sucker punch. So maybe he might protect. I definitely want a party shot here. I definitely want a party shot. I think I'm just gonna go for a snarl. I'm just gonna snarl and I'm gonna party shot. Probably gonna play, right? It seems like he Dynamax way too early here. Thinking he could just tap up on my Yvelta. So if we could play this one slow and just waste out his Dynamax turns, I could really, really like where we're sitting. I could really, really like where we're sitting. So we'll see what he does here. He's just gonna withdraw. So good thing we didn't go for Sucker Punch. Hopefully he goes to a special attacker. Nope, he goes into Zassian. That's fine. We're withdrawing our Incineroar. So I can just hard swap back into my Incineroar if I really want to. Snarl comes out, Beep. and hopefully that thing's physical or special attacking. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure, but we'll see how this one plays. We'll see what this dude does for you. Probably another Max Lightning, right? Max Knuckle he goes for. Into my Incineroar. Okay, Incineroar soaks up all day. So he's going to go plus one on attack board. Actually, it's actually going to go plus two. So we're going to have to party shot and just hard swap out, right? That's got to be our play. 1,000%. Party shot, we got to come right back in here. So I could go Urshifu. I don't think it really matters who we go into. Because we are just going to hard swap, right? I could go Zassy and just pose that. I mean, I'm trying to think. Maybe I can make him force him into a shot here. That he doesn't want to take. I could go into Zassy here and force him maybe into a... Uh, mm, I was going to say maybe force him into a Knuckle, but... Then just swap him into Incineroar. Urshifu would force him into an Air. And I really do not want to force him into an Air. So, you know what? We're just going to go into Zassy here. Again, like I don't want to force him into an airstream. I really don't want him to have that speed boost. So we're gonna go in this ass in here, and I'm just gonna hard swap out. I'm definitely just gonna hard swap out here, and then I might just go into a foul play just to take off some damage onto that ass in. Yeah, it's gotta be our play. Foul play coming across, and then just hard swap right back into him. Start minus in that attack. Maybe we should have protected this turn and see if we get off that foul play while he's plus two. But even if he's plus one, still could do a huge chunk of damage. Like we saw in the last battle when our opponent used to foul play onto our Zassi. So we're going to hard swap back into the Cinemore. We're going to drop that Intimidate. His Dynamax turns early. We're just hoping he doesn't go into an Airstream. That's kind of my put. That's why I kind of went into Zassi. I just don't want him to do that. But he missed Blade Fly through here, and that's... Hopefully that goes into... That's got to go into Yvelta. So Yvelta's going to drop here. That's fine. Oh, goes into... It. Okay. Goes into Cinemore, y'all. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'll take that all day. Yvelta should go next. Yep, Yvelta comes in here. Foul play gonna get off some damage. Lovely damage. Lovely damage. That's a huge chunk. Max Lightning's gonna fly through here. And we prevent him from going into any airstream. So I really do like where we're sitting. Yvelta's gonna drop and we just waste out all of his Dynamax turns. Okay. I'm cool with it. I love it. I do have Focus Ash Raider Roll. I could go into our Zassian. Which is probably our play, right? We do have Fake Out Raider Roll. I could set up a sub. Means could set up a sub. I could set up a sub, but we have our Dynamax and we're saving it for our Urshfu. So Urshfu is going to get that Dynamax. We could fake out. Um, I might fake out, set up a sub. I, th I think he gives me no reason not to do it. Or I can just dump on his... Uh... Or I can just take you out. I think setting up a sub is going to be a play here, right? Sub up. And just fake out. Right? Yeah. I do like that. I do like that turn a lot. Like that turn a lot, so we start off super strong with this team right here. He's gonna protect Sassian. I kind of saw that coming, but I was just like, I need to, I need to really pose that fake out threat here. Because you know, if he doesn't protect, then it's kind of, he's kind of just gonna tee off on us. He's gonna go for a scary face. He's gonna slow us down, which is kind of fine because you know we're setting up that that, that lovely sub. The scary face can come out here. That's a, that's a, that's a solid play by him. Sub's gonna poke here. We're gonna take some HP and we're gonna roll off from there. We are gonna roll out. So from here, we'll go for that flare blitz and we'll go for that secret sword, right? I mean, do we double down the Zassian? I feel like we should. I feel like we should. We could taunt him. Could indeed taunt this thing. 
but he still does have force so taunting this guy could be great but scary face is just a pain and i, I really don't want him scary face in my uh, my earth food later in the match he still has four pokemon i just realized that but we still have our dynamax still have our lovely dynamax player offs can come out here that's gonna take a second the player off drops us we're gonna go into a secret sword and that should drop his ass here which is a solid turn on bolt switch we should be able to soak that up and keep our sub right do we keep our sub i think we keep our sub let's go let's go that's huge if we keep our sub that is huge which i think we do you just swap if he goes to incineroar that i don't think he has incineroar might have uh who does he have oh there's the blast that's what i was scared of this whole time that's what i was scared of this whole time secret sword is gonna poke out here this should ko him right Yep, Zassian drops out here. We swap back into this, and now we can bring out our lovely, lovely Urshifu, which I can just go into Max Knuckles if I wanted to, and just getting a free attack boost. And we still have Focus Ash. We got Dynamax. So let's roll out from here. The Plastoids is definitely kind of scary. Strong, strong Pokemon. Just scary at the same time. Uh, we did not get to taunt that thing, so we're just going to go back into it. And I think he just scary faces me, right? And we just got to start dropping these Knuckles. These Knuckle Buckles. Uh, what do we do? Do we double down the Blastoids? I think we do double down the Blastoids here. I could go for a Rapid Flow. But I would rather get that Attack Boost, right? I mean, we know... Oh, I, I meant to hit B. I meant to hit B, but we're still going for this Max Knuckle over in this Pokemon. It's okay. It's okay. That's kind of tough, though. I want to hit B. I wanted to hit B. God dang it. I either want to go into the max knuckle in the blastoids or a rapid flow in here, but it's all good. We're going into the max knuckle until not very effective. At least we're still getting an attack boost. That was my problem. I really want this attack boost just to boost the squad. But I really want to do some big damage with rapid flow. But I think we still should be thriving here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Fake out's going to pop out here. That's fine. We died in max. And all day long, max knuckle's going to fly through here. We are going to get this attack boost, which makes our boy plus two. And actually, this might work out better in our favor because Zassian's probably going to one tap this blastoids regardless. So getting off some damage and attack boost at the same time, it's going to work out pretty well here. Volt Switch going to poke out here. Ooh, that's kind of scary. That's definitely scary. That's definitely scary. He's going to Volt Switch back. And who's going to go into? He's going to show his final mod, which is going to be... Isn't it the Calyrex? It's going to be that Calyrex. It is going to be that Calyrex. Right? Does he have Calyrex on 1 HP? Does. Does. There it is. I totally forgot about this little booger. Totally forgot about that booger gonna go for our nerve so we're not allowed to eat up berries we're gonna bring out our zassian here zassian still has sub and secret sword's gonna poke you hopefully this thing oh wait never mind i was gonna say this thing can't be sash of course that thing survives so he survives there uh what's our player what is our play here behemoth blade take you out who do we take out here i think we just take out you and we we protect our uh I think we take out this thing because that thing kind of scary and we just protect our Urshifu here and play it slow. I do think that's going to be your play. I do indeed think that's going to be your play. So we're going to max guard here. We're going to protect him because I do not want him going down to whatever he has to offer. And of course he's going to protect. Actually, that's fine. He protects him. We're going after the uh, Calyrex. He goes for the Astral Barrage. That's beautiful. We block. Our sub is poking out here. We're going to be able to take that thing out and we're going to be sitting here in this final position, which isn't too bad for us. I really don't mind it. We don't mind it, but it is coming close. Because, you know, Volt Switch can definitely take us out. Volt Switch takes us out, right? And I would love to, like, waste a turn here. I would have loved to uh, waste a turn. So I, just, uh, so I can get out my Aqua Jet onto this, uh... Onto one of the Pokemon. But I think Urshifu's just going to go down the Volt Switch. And it's going to be really, really close. It's going to be super close. He's going to throw out his final mod, which is obviously that Thunderous. And let's do it, guys. Let's do it. This one's really close. This one's super, super close. Though I could pop another sub. I could go in the Sacred Sword. Um, I think I just take out you, right? We go for Behemoth Blade. Uh, we are plus two. Who do I take out? I think we guarantee to take out on you. Let's take out Blastoids and let's just go into a Rapid Flow if we can. Or we could try to go for another Max Guard, but, you know, we're going to go straight into the Rapid Flow here. Try to take this thing out. Let's see how this one plays out here. Oh, we outspeed. We outspeed. How come I didn't think we outspend? Oh, right, that's GG's then. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Why do I think we didn't outspeed? I don't know why. I do not know why. See, I overthink sometimes. And Hydro Cannon's going to come out here. And I don't think this thing takes me out, right? Big damage, but it'll take me out. 
Behemoth Blade or Sacred Sword is going to fly out here. That's GG, Joe. We are thriving with this team. 2-0. and oh. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. 2-0 in today's video. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. And we're going up against a really cool team, a similar team to what I was actually going to end up using today. But I switched it at the last second to use this Steam Engine Colossal team. But we're going up against a Zassian Yvalta team that features GMAX sent to scorch life orb zapdos and then he has storm drink astron alongside with that roll boom who roll boom is still super super strong but you know what we going right into this colossal combo. we haven't showcased it in today's video yet and we won two battles and you guys know if i go two and oh in the first two battles we like to have fun in the third and final battle and we do not care for you so we're gonna lead colossal we're gonna lead dragapult which i still kind of like up in this situation a lot i really do we're gonna also bring in Sassian, and then we gotta bring him up, right or oh urshifu could be nice Actually, no, Urshfu could not be too nice considering he has Rillaboom and Storm Drain Gastron. And he has a Zapdos, which is super effective on it. So, nah, Urshfu, get on out of this game. Even though Urshfu has been thriving for us. He has been thriving for us in the first two battles. Really, really great. Really, really strong. Great in the Dynamax form considering it has the G Max move. It just hits like a truck all around. So, can't go wrong with him in any situation. But let's see how we do here. Hopefully, we can just get this Steam Engine Procket and maybe just sweep this game because. It's fun when you sweep with a G-Max Colossal. It is really, really fun. He's going to go into Yveltha. He's going to go into Rillaboom. And in this case, he could Sucker Punch me. He could indeed Sucker Punch me. And in this case, I might just explode. <laughs> I could just explode. Sucker Punch could totally come out here. And Sucker Punch would do me dirty. Sucker Punch could do me dirty here. I might just go into a Flare Blitz. What do we think he's going to do? I could do this. And I could just set up a light screen. Or. 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 You know, I'm going to do this. We're not even going to Dynamax this thing. We're going to say he's going for Sucker Punch here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Grass Glide flying here. We can soak that up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What a lovely turn by Jeans. What a lovely turn by Jeans. So we're going to do that. Maybe he'll go into another, another Sucker Punch and we'll set up a light screen. But look at that read by Jeans. We're going to be able to drop a nice lovely Rock Slide here. Boop, 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 boop. Lovely damage. Lovely damage. You love to see it. Okay, so we get some HP recovery from the Grassy Terrain. But a nice little read to get us started here. We read the Sucker Punch coming in here. We read it coming in hot. And we throw a burn on a roll. Which is great. He's a physical attacker. It's so from here. Hmm. From here, we go for another rock slide, right? I could burn him. Hold up. I have a plan here. I have a great plan here. I could set up the light screen. Hear me out. I could set up the light screen. I could set up the light screen. But I think he goes for another sucker punch, which is a physical attack and move. And then we burn him. And then we could be able to probably soak up one and then maybe go for surf and go from there let's see what he does let's see what he does we're just, we're just, we're just having fun out here i probably should have set up the light screen probably would have been a better play we'll see what he does he withdraws from him. how cool with that how cool with that he's gonna go into zassian going into sucker punch here go to sucker punch try it again try me again i dare you i dare you try me again because I'm, I'm not afraid i'm not afraid <laughs> i'm not afraid we miss okay so I can put any amount of money on that he doesn't go for Sucker Punch this turn. But Dragapult still my out speed. What do we do? I'm thinking of surfing here. I'm totally thinking of surfing. Let me see this Dragapult speed. 201. That outspeeds Zacian, right? Actually, we have his Zacian. This thing boosts in speed. It's not fully. It's tough news. We just stick with the rock slides. I'm tempted to surf. I'm super, super tempted. To surf. Let's do it. There's no way he goes for a third sucker punch, right? He's got to be like, okay, I have Zassian on the field. He's going to willow with me. But he just quits. But he just quits. We take that all day. Outplaying our opponent in that battle. There it is. He quits. We'll take that win all day. We will take that win all day.
We had our third opponent on the ropes. He had no idea what we were doing, and he ended up turning off his console or just closing the software because it wasn't us that lagged out. It was him. I got that win on my record board, and we take that 3-0 record every single time. But I did not think he was going to go for another sucker punch in that third turn. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I thought maybe he thought that I was going to go for another will o -Wisp. So we're just going to surf that turn, get our Colossal up there, and just start rolling from there. But yo, that was some solid turns, out our opponent left and right, and just dominating all three battles. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.